Hello, what is up guys, Dismal here, and I'm bringing you guys a new tutorial about custom patterns and custom wallpapers in Photoshop. It's a really cool original effect I learned from a really good tutorial by Evan Eckerd. He's a great graphics artist, you should check him out. But I am going to make a, a tutorial of what I learned. It's, it's really cool, as you can see I have some quick examples I made up here, but it can, like, you can make so, like nothing you make is going to be the exact same. You can make anything, any kind of shapes, any kind of patterns you want in there. And it will come out, it look really cool. You can put in anything, backgrounds, speed arts, manipulations. It just looks really great, great wall, uh, great patterns, great wallpapers. So right before I start this out, I'm just going to tell you guys a little something. something. Um, I started up a new channel, Dismal Design. Uh, this is going to be my new main channel because my other one, Skylight Arts, it just, uh, a lot of inactive subs because back in the day, I was a noob, and, uh, I was charging GFX for subs because I thought I was smart, but I realized that that's, that's not the way to go, it just hurts you in the end. So, I started on my new channel the other day, it's off to a fresh start, uh, in two days I got 13 subs and, uh, 237 upload views, which I was pretty happy about, so, um, Come check them out, and also check out Insignia Art, great graphics team. They do everything, motion, graphics, interface, modeling. They got a bunch of awesome graphics designers, guys, and really got Reflexes, Reverts, Prowler, Zork, all these great guys in their team. And uh, they're a great channel, bunch of great content, great guys. And check these guys out, they're awesome. So, uh, great roster hero, they're all amazing. So, um, let's get right into it. Open up your Photoshop, and the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new canvas, 1280 by 1280 pixels. Um, that's pretty much good. Open that up. Perfect, perfect. Let's start it up. So, first, if you don't have your ruler selected, you're going to want to select or bring those out right now. So, the easiest way is Control command r If uh, not, just go to your View tab, select your rulers, and bring those up. Second thing, you need some guides. So select new guide. Under it doesn't matter whatever orientation you do first, just select 50. Hit the percent sign. It'll make a guide directly down the center of your canvas here. Do the same thing for the the next axis. And you're gonna have a perfect little midpoint in there. Um, next thing you're gonna want to do is make a new layer. Take the line tool. Select a nice bright color. Let's do just a nice little red. Select your weight or your size to one pixel. Click and hold. And hold shift because this will make a perfect angle. Just drag that out. It doesn't have to be dead center right now. And because it's a shape layer, it makes it all weird looking stupid. Rasterize that. Nice and thin, nice and clean. And it should snap right near center point if you get that up there nice. So, let me. Oh, fail. Oh, I'm going to grab my guide here. Let me lock my guides. If you don't know how to do that, go to View, select Lock Guides, and just drag that out to the center. Let me zoom in here. It should be locking on. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, next thing you want to do is just click on your ruler and drag out another guide. This one doesn't have to be precise. Just drag it out anywhere. Only difference is, is it's going to make a the size of your starting square, and you got to make it big so you can put a lot of details in it. So when you're flipping them and you make the overall pattern, it's going to look really nice. So because basically what you're going to do is you're going to be making a simple little design, drawing out some paths, some shapes in this little triangle right here. Not little, this triangle right here. It's, it's basically an eighth of a square. An eighth of your, it's going to be an eighth of your total pattern because it's going to be all symmetrical, all, it's going to look really neat. So, so once you have your perfect half a square, you're going to select your pen tool and you're going to select a nice, nice little gray, mid range gray. It's all, it's all about the pen tool today. So, uh, I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to create a new layer for all my paths. So, basically, just you're going to want to Go in here, draw some cool little shapes, like so. It doesn't really matter. Any any shapes, any designs, anything. 
it's gonna look really cool so I am just gonna go ahead and do this really quick design something and I'll speed it up and then I'll come back real soon all right it makes it easier easier to be all right I'm back now so as you can see I just quickly drew out some pads it can basically be any shape any style any any anything pointy square round and just put a lot of a lot of different stuff in there a lot of variety makes it look really cool and it doesn't really matter what is on the edges of these lines on the outside I mean because right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your selection your rectangle marquee tool and it should you're just gonna drag it out and it should lock on your guide and you're gonna just take out the excess then for your little horizontal line here you want to drag up here or click up here with your polygon selection tool and just drag down hold the shift key and just drag along that one pixel line it's not going to be completely perfect but it doesn't really matter so now that you have your let me hide this little thing your you have your eighth of a square your little design here and as I said you can do pretty much anything you want with this and it will look really cool this one I have a lot of a lot of curves a lot of points and a lot of variety so what you're going to want to do here is duplicate your duplicate your layer control or command J and whoops what did I do there I rotated back then go to transform and hit flip horizontal and then just hold uh, shift and drag and just drag it over and what shift does it makes you only drag it in a perfect line straight up down or 45 degrees so you just drag that over and it's it's a lot easier to hide your guides here because sometimes when you don't hide them you won't see but you'll leave a really small one pixel line right down the center so after you have that one little piece you're gonna wanna merge it again duplicate transform rotate it doesn't matter which way put it on there and you see that if, that, that if you have that really small one pixel line that locks into just easily just uh, snap it in there going right and up on your d-pad or if you're on this side go left and up on your d-pad then merge that again select edit transform 180 this isn't perfect so just fix that let's have that one pixel line there so there you drag that in and you have your overall shape so what you can do with this now is Let's just make this full screen so you can see. This one's a funky little shape. In the center here, it's kind of weird looking, but no, it works really quickly. I just drew it up. If you take your time and trial and error, you make something look really nice here. But you can see this one is uh, its really cool. It's got a lot of little accents in the center here. Some big shapes, some weird, funky, wavy shapes there. And they you can pretty much just use this, make it smaller duplicate it, drag it, put it beside each other, make it even more more like shapes on the inside of it as well by doing this and you know merge that duplicate it, bring it down, blah 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 and so on and so on and so on and you will end up with a cool little sign like this and that little centerpiece looks pretty cool there but this is what the total outcome will come to. Anything like this, it will look different every time. I have more examples here, like stuff like this. It'll be different every time. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to follow exactly what I did. As a matter of fact, just trial and error, and make your own stuff. Really cool. And you can, what you can do is just throw this in the background, throw it in speed art, throw it in any kind of manipulation. You can also just make it like a kind of like a background texture if you just don't want plain white. Put this in there, make it faded. It'll look really cool. You can also throw a logo in here somewhere and keep duplicating it, duplicating it. Flip it, and your logo will be all spread out in there. That also looks pretty cool. I had I used that one time. And the great thing about this is it it's new, it's original, it's not used too much, so you won't see it too often. So this is a cool little effect I showed you guys. So I hope you guys like it, and stay tuned for more awesome stuff.